two dwarfs. Go for me. <laughs> I have plenty of love, ma. A dwarf. <laughs> I please not pay to join the dance. But I can sing for you. And you're going to dance for mama. No, 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 I don't know how to dance. Hey, I know, but you will dance. Olama, 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 Oh, welcome. Uh -huh. Mama, how are you? Ah. I can see your hands are I have to keep my lungs hunger in check. <laughs> welcome. Like mm. father, like son. Mm. Hey! <laughs> Mama. Please bring Gary, bring something for us to eat. Oh, awesome. So that we can wait for dinner. We we'll use it to wait for mm, dinner. We we'll yeah. use it for wait for dinner. Oh, you are back. Ah, oh, good Welcome. Fast now. Fast now. Ah, boom, man, Quickly, oh. I know you eat first. <laughs> Don't you know it? <laughs> Temperature is still rising. It's the fever. No, no, no. Oh. Brother, sorry. You. <coughs> Mother, please don't die. Oh, no. He will not die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Big brother, please, we need you. Oh, no. Oh, no. He will not die. Oh, no. That thing will happen oh, no. to you. Oh, no. 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 Maybe we should give him some more of these hands. The new one is still burning, so when it's ready, we'll give it to him. You can see from that malarina tree to the bamboo tree there. It's all yours. All mine. Your own. Chairman. Yeah, yes. Hey. Thank you very much. Right. May God bless you. Amen. Okay. You there? Sure. From that bamboo tree up to the nepa pole there, it's all yours. Mind you. Yes. Mind you. Yes. <laughs> you may bless something. <laughs> and, uh, the rest of the land is mine. Ah, Shaman, what about me? Uh, you are not in the scheme of things. Eh? We have already exhausted our own allocation of land by the town union. We have exhausted all. There's nothing else we can do. Eh? But Shaman, am I not a member of this clan? Eh? For two weeks now, you have allocated land to men of this clan. Why should my own be different, Shaman? Um, well, he came, I'm sorry. We allocated land to those who contributed financially to make sure we won the case in court regarding this land. Chairman, what about my moral support? I may not have contributed financially, but with my two legs, I did all the errands connected with this case. Um, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. All you have to do now is to wait till some other time you might be luckier and you might be remembered. Thank you very much. Come on. Come on. Huh. Uh. 
because of poverty. Because of poverty. Hi. Goats have eaten palm fruit out of my head. Because of poverty. Because I did not have the money to pay my own levy. I am no more treated as a man in this clan. God. Oh, but Pharaoh. Father in heaven, you've seen it. Because I am a poor man, because I cannot pay my own levy, I am no more a man in this village. But Father, I beg you, I'm on my knees, Almighty Father, I beg you, Father, I beg you, please. Please, Father, do not let this before my children, Almighty God. I beg you in the name of Jesus. Please. will not get you any, hey, anywhere, hey, do you know? Hey, let it not. Of course, I know you don't like me. Will you shut up? Me, your mother? Eh? Don't I ever hear that kind of thing from you again? Mm. The one must I be the one to go, go to the farm always. And what I'll be following paper everywhere in the name of that paper. Well, I'm not going anywhere. You don't even go for anyone. Eh? You won't go to the farm. When, you, when they tell you to go to tap farm, farm wine, you finish the farm wine on the tree and get drunk and come back here. Mm. Isn't it? Eh? You must go. I'm not going anywhere. You're mm. going? Mm. Mama, I'm not going anywhere. Mm. Mm. Will you take this one? You take this one from me from what now. What is happening there? It's Abum Neme. Eh? He has refused to go to the farm with the others. Huh? Abum Neme. Baba. Look. Not for the sake of God, I would have just used this thing to smash you. Look, one of these days I'm going to do something to remove that, that stubbornness in your head. Now, take this hoe and go to the farm. I'm not going anywhere. I said go to the farm. Go to the farm. Ay! Oh! I'm not going anywhere. I'm going every day, every day, every day. I'm going every day. I'm going to follow him from everywhere. As if he's taking part. He's not doing anything. He's not doing anything. Mora, he's not doing anything. Every day, only one. Every day, only one. I'm not going to any farm. All right. Did anybody look for me? No, I welcome, my dear. Uh, how was the meeting? Which meeting? Those, those... Do you know that they refused to give me a share of the land simply because I did not contribute financially to the court case? Huh? As a matter of fact, what are you doing on my car? No, I'm just admiring the car. Just admiring the car? Imagine the likeness, Chief Okum, admiring my car. Does your father and anybody in your family own the car? Answer him! Well, get out of this place, you brat! As I keep doing! Nonsense! Chief. My own car! Who is sure if he has not removed anything from Is inside the car? Let's get out of here before, be, 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 before they come in and swarm. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. How has the family? Bye. 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 Bye.
the valiant man that danced on top of thorns without being hurt. Ah! What has brought out the squirrel from his hole uh. to my house today? I would never. Sir. How are you? I thank you, sir. This is beautiful. <laughs> yes. I said, what brought you here today? I brought good luck. Hey, my God, yes. Eh? Eh, Oriakum. Nay. Please uh, get us uh, another glass. Uh. So, how, how is the village, everybody? Well, we thank God you've seen it. We are living, surviving. Uh, eating you fresh food. Uh -huh, my glass. Yes. Uh, uh, Chief took Mazi came. Ah! Uh -huh. mm. Mm. So fresh. <laughs> yeah, wine is always unbeatable. It runs in the family. Mm. My great grandfather was a wine tapper. Mm. And so was my grandfather. Mm. It was only my father who deviated and went into farming. Mm. But I picked off the tradition. Mazike. And I'm happy that Wara, my son, is has also picked up the tradition. No, 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 no. Mazike. Huh? Uh Mazike. None of your children will be a pan wine tapper. No. Time has changed. Hmm? Yeah. I can't approve to that. We, we won't let the tradition to die. You are right. Uh -huh. But the tradition could be modified to suit with the trend of time. You see, I understand the, the precarious tradition you live in. But as far as I'm concerned, none of your children will be a by one tapper. So yeah, our friendship had lasted for a very long time, right from when we were young. Mm. If there's anything that annoys me today so much is that I am a wealthy man, and you are still struggling, managing to survive. Honestly, I don't... It is God who gives wealth. Yes. But the Bible says heaven helps those who help themselves. Even the Bible says that that God told the children of Israel to go and possess the land. You see, what you don't possess, you don't achieve. Well, uh, Maziki, I want to make Obonneme a rich man. Hmm? Yes, I want him to learn my business. Hey, but I want him to go to school. Leave that with me. Just forget about that. He will learn the trade mm -hmm. part time mm -hmm. and go to school part time <laughs> uh, so that uh, at least he can help you people to to get on with life are you understanding uh, me uh, uh, i want uh. i want <laughs> you to be a happy man mazike give talk i have known you to be a good man mm. our friendship has gone back way years back mm. Um, anyway, when do you intend to leave? Three days time. Three days time? Yeah. Hey. May the good Lord bless this day. Amen. Hmm. Amen. Hmm? <laughs> well, uh, Mazike, let it be on the day of hunting. So we will go to the kingdom of grasshoppers. We will come with our basket full of meat. Chief Togas. I just uh, drove in this morning. I decided to trek and then visit people within the neighborhood. Yes, but mm. uh, what about the palm wine? Uh, no, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Are you? I'm very okay. Uh, uh, uh. Mazikim, let me go. Okay. Mm? Uh, okay. Uh, let me go. Chief Togas. Mazikim. Bye. 
Yes, my boat it, but I used the money for the eat tomorrow. They said oil has added money. That was the only money in the house for Gary now. The Gary will eat tomorrow. Anyway, go and bring it. We won't starve. Hmm? I still can't believe he ran away. That's what has been hanging around my neck. Well, I'm running back to the city. I thought that he would have traveled with me. God knows best. Ah, uh, just put yourself together. Hmm? Don't let it bother you much. Hmm? As a father, it should bother me, but... Uh, I believe in God. Take care. Decided to hustle and find my destiny. <laughs> if I make it, well and good. If I don't, no problem. What kind of son is this, Nanya? Eh? So this boy just wants to be a flip. Good for nothing. He did not even say, dear father or dear mother. <laughs> nothing like that. Just this little note. Oh my God. Babunana, what kind of son are you? Show them. I was working on my laptop. Mm -hmm. I heard this strange noise. I slid the window open and I saw two guys breathing down on my mechanic. Like the lion I am, I reached for my gun, slid the window open, and two of them fell like a pack of cards. You are Rambo, me in Nigeria. Point of correction. I am Obunneme, the only lion that rules in the city. 
Wait a minute. How do they gain access into this fortress? Your house is well fortified. I have a very lousy gate man. He suffers from occasional amnesia. Always forgetting to lock the gate. Anyway, I fire them the next morning. The shooting lessons we take at the club is not in vain. I am a professional marksman. Boy, you should have been the highway robber. It's your father who should have been the highway robber. <laughs> <laughs> Just then. Uh, Samuel, how, how are you coping with your wife? Uh -huh. Man, that woman is fire. Do you know she fought me yesterday? Hmm. Well, Sam, if you ask me, I suggest you do something about that woman. If not, she will send you to an early grave. Malik, you talk as if you forget so fast. Someone is the cause of all his problems. How could Ngozi, a woman who made you what you are, Catch you red-handed, pants down with another woman on her matrimonial bed. Ah, that is bad now. Too man. bad. A man got to do what he got to do. Mm. Look at this man. So a man got to take a woman to his matrimonial bed. Is that what you're saying? You that is my life. She did not cut your tanta. Hello, my people. Hello, hey, sweet lady. Do you know how many? That was cool. Yeah. Okay, go make, change your dress, okay? Change Good boy. Obu, I always jealous you with your family. Uh, go and get your own family. Uh, tell the world, okay? Tell them. Anyway, we'll see you see at the club. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No consignment. Mm -hmm. This girl calls today now. I'll punish your father. Chasing me down the village path. Hmm? God forbid. He was trying to cut off my head. Jesus. Hey. Nine. Let us pray. Oh? Oh. Let us pray. Let me see my good friend, Angelica. Mm. Mm. 
May the day bring good results for all of us. Going to the farm. Let me go and set my trap. Go on. He has come to borrow money. Please, please, you are asking for impossible. Please, it is not impossible. Please, please, I will pay back soon. Have I not been lending you money? You have. You have. If my account is right, you have not paid back four loans I gave you. Four! I know. I will pay back in due time. Please. When? He came when? I know you are not credit worthy. Don't forget that I have my own responsibilities. Is it not from that small store that I loan you money? And what profit do I make? Look, things are hard for me and my family. Yeah. Your house is not the only place where poverty has taken a permanent seat. Eh? The point is that Everybody in the village knows you as an incorrigible borrower. Are, are you not insulting me? No, I'm not insulting you, but I'm telling the truth. The other day, Moses was telling people that anytime he sees you, his heart sinks a bit. Because you may ask for some loan. Huh? Yes, you. That's a lie. Huh? One car. Huh? I've suffered. Um. What of your son, Obu Neme? Obu Neme is in the city struggling to survive. Huh? He sends us money once in a while, once or twice a year. He will send us 5,000 miles. 5,000? Yes. Strange! What is strange? What is strange about it? But the rumor has it that he's a big man in the city. To be a leave rumor alone. Help a friend out, please. Uh, do, I, do, I, do I wait? Come uh, on, mm -hmm. Take this money. Oh. This is the last time I'll give you a loan. I have to survive. Thank you very much. Thank you. Look, the word of God says, give us, never lack. God will continue to bless you, yeah? You're a friend indeed.
at it in. How dare you lean your scarecrow of a bike on my machine? I'm sorry, sir. Let me remove it. I'm sorry, sir. Will you get off my car, you brat? I said, mother of fact, what are you doing on my car? No, I'm just admiring the car. Just admiring the car? Does your father and anybody in your family own the car? Will you get out of this place, you brat? Oh, Stay out of this. Sorry, sir. Forgive me, sir. Please, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Please forgive me. Stay out of this. Oh, you don't have to go that far. I said, stay out of this. I'm sorry, sir. Calm down. Huh? Calm down. Why, would, why would I calm down? Of all the places in the hotel, the only place he sought to lean his frustrated bike is on my bog. This, my guy, okay because... this guy does not watch the trouble. Why should I calm down? He had the guts to lean his poor bike on my <laughs> bog. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, down. Do you know that a poor man has no choice in this world? Yes, sir. Calm down. Malik, even the Bible says so. Now, what gave you the courage to lean your frustrated bike on my bog? My okay, Please forgive me. It wasn't intentional. It wasn't intentional? Okay. I will teach you an intentional lesson so that whenever you see a big car, you will respect it. Take him back. It's not that religious. Malik, you won't understand. Eh? You know I hate anything that has to do with poverty. I won't even touch it with the longest pole. Mm -hmm. This man will die. You, you know my history. Let, if the man dies, I throw him into the pool. <laughs> if this man dies, government will leave you free. Hey, that one, free. only day. Okay. Let's talk about why we're here. Now, what about the contract? Uh, I think we'll have a meeting with all parties involved. Where am I? Mm, let's say tomorrow at the usual place. Mixing business and pleasure. I see, I like that. Why? Why would you? you know, in the positive language, it's been business, no pleasure. Ah, why? <laughs> I'm really 
Richard. The airport contract is ours. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, I will lodge one million naira into your account. Oh, thank you, honey. You're my hero. I know I'm your hero, baby. And then we open an account for Junior's education. Wow, honey, that's great. That's great. Honey, what about sending some to your family? Something wrong? No, it's just that I have a headache. Oh. Sorry. Alright, let me get you a pen and paper. Sends 5,000 naira uh, twice a year to us. 5,000 naira. I hope he's a very rich businessman. No morals. Man, no morals. Look, if we're born in to be as rich as people say, no, oh, no. There's no way he'll forget his family. How are you so sure? You know how he left the village. Mm -hmm. He's aware of the hardship we are going through. So for how long has he been in the city? It's about 10 years now. Jesus, 10 years? And you've not gone to visit him for one day? <laughs> this is strange, Joe. Very strange. Uh, how do you mean? How are you? I can't imagine having a brother in the city. Who woman says he's very rich? Being in my present condition now, God knows I will board the next available bus to the city to see him with my two eyes. Hey, baby, what's up? How you doing? Hello. Yeah, longest time. How's it? How you? How you doing? Shameless boy. You only come to the market to chase girls. Can't you find something positive to do with your life? What's your own? Huh? I beg, mellow down. Is it my fault that the lecturers are on strike? Huh? Besides, you can't stop me from seeing my pretty old man. You can stop me. Okay? leave Mike alone. He's good company. Or you want to tell me you don't enjoy his company? I don't enjoy it. <laughs> Baby, just tell her more. Tell her how spicy I am in your dish. I'm serious, good. <laughs> so how is everything? No, right. Yeah. So the lecturers have not called off the strike. <laughs> strike. <laughs> Far from that. You know what? what? I would like the strike to be infinity. So that I'll have time to be with an angel like you. Oh, serious boy. <laughs> I don't want to go to school again. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to school. <laughs> <You're> so serious. <laughs> so how are you? Fine, man. Son of an architect, Kweme. Architect, yeah. From Umu Abo Village. Yes, my dear. Hey, 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 welcome, my dear. Ada Beke, go and bring this chair for him. Hold on, ma. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, I will soon be leaving. How is your father? Uh, he's fine. He's at Enugu now. At Enugu. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> ma, um, our lecturers are on strike. So, as a sociology student, I decided to utilize the opportunity uh, to conduct a research uh, on our people's custom uh, regarding masquerade. Is that it's more. Oh, it's in more. Uh, okay. Uh, well, welcome. Eh? You yes, say ma. you won't sit down. No, ma'am. I uh, uh, Just that. Ada, did you buy the crayfish? Yes, ma'am. I bought two. 
Paloma, who is this? Hmm? He's my friend. Young man, who are you and what are you doing in my house? I'm on Loma's friend. You're Loma's friend? Yes. Since when? Yeah. Huh? What are you doing in this, this house? Is a... uh, so what, Mama? Mama, you want this boy to get Loma pregnant? It hasn't come to that. Mama, it has come on. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. <laughs> now, get inside the house. Uh, go, 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 get, get, get inside the house. Are you mad? What kind of thing is this now? Eh? And now, young man, go to your father's house. And don't you ever come to this house again. And I don't want to see you with my sister ever again. Do you understand me? Now go. This boy is architect. Where my son? So what, Mama? Stupid boy! Tell you to go to school and learn. You 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 leave your school, come to the village to, to spoil other people's daughters. Let me see you around my sister again. Mama, you have been encouraging this girl all. The day it will happen. Don't call me. Nothing will happen. Okay. Nothing will happen. Foolish boy. Foolish boy is an architect. Let me see you. Okay, you okay, started having boyfriends. Okay. Papa, what is this? Money. That's why I called you. Oloma gave it to me. Oloma. How come? She said I could take a MS son gave it to me. I know that I need money. But I have not yet sold out my soul to the devil. It has not come to a stage where I have to ask my daughter to go and get money from men. I said it. I said it that Uluoma should stop seeing that boy. But Mama, you were arguing with me. Have you seen it? Easy, my son. It is with caution that we... Leak hot soup. Uloma, you will take this money back to whoever gave it to you. Mm. For a full blood dead young man to give you this amount of money, there must be an ulterior it's motive. True, it's true, no, it's true. Why, why are you doing this to me? Mike loves me. Will you, will you shut up your dirty mouth, foolish girl? Uh, Uloma, you must listen to what your father is telling you. Mm. You must take this money back. You can make friends, but not this. Papa, are you saying I should stop seeing him? Yes. I said you should stop seeing him. Listen, the next time I see you close to that boy, I will kill you. But Papa... Yes. Shut up, my friend! Sh sh shut your mouth there. Love will go away there. You love him. Love is sweet, mm. and it can also be bitter. Mm. Take this money and return it to him. Stop 
all right. It's all right. Um, parents do act like that. Okay? Anyway, let me get you something to drink. Huh? Okay. Okay. Um just take your drink, okay? Huh? Okay. Take it to cool your nerves. Okay. Huh? Take it, take it now. You don't want to drink. Mama? Why are you washing? Where's the llama? I haven't seen her. You haven't seen her? Since morning? Maybe she went to the market from there. Yes, I want to see my sister. I've not seen her this morning. What? I've Maybe she hasn't come to the market today. No, I've not seen her since morning. I've not seen her. I only want to go and collect money from the woman I gave goods to. That was why you saw me every day. Did you mean Oloma hasn't come to the market today? I've not seen her with my two eyes today. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye.
Look at her. I, I saw her in Mike's house. I'm suspecting that that boy must have drugged her. Drugged her. Oh, oh. Oh. Wake up, uh. Let me get some. Wake up. Wake up. Get up. Stop. Get up. Get up. Get up. Hey. Hey. Pull up my cock to me. Ada Beke. Ada Kunye. Get up. Talk to me. Get me a knife. Talk. Get me a knife. Oh, right, get me a knife. Papa, what is that? The water will revive her. Hey. Hey. See. Hey. I see someone wake up. Fast. Hey. Get up. Papa. Please. Get up. Get up, mom. Get up. Get off now! Open your mouth now! Near the fireplace. I want more. Is she still alive? Hey, Mama, Mama is so so. Is she still alive? Papa, I don't know. Papa. Papa, what happened? 
this lot. Hey. Good. The worst is that I have no money. And they refuse to treat her. Hey. I wish I could take her to a hospital in the city. Oh God. What kind of thing is this now? Papa, let me talk to the doctor to see if he can be kind enough to at least give her some medication. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. You people prefer to let my mother lie down there unattended because we don't have money to pay for her, for her treatment. Can my mother's life be compared to any amount of money, eh? Just, just treat her. I promise you, I'm going to pay you your money. Okay. This is all I have. Eh? This is all I have on me. Just start treating her. I promise you, I'm going to pay your money in full. I promise. I'm sorry. I wish I could help you. God. God. God, why? Our God is not sleeping. Hmm? It's And the idea of going to borrow money is out of it. Who will lend me money? Child. Papa, let me see one of my friends to see if I can borrow money from him. If I succeed, I will go to the house, prepare, then go to the city to look for Bruno. Okay. That's better than doing nothing. But do you know where he lives? Um, if I see Chief Tokas, maybe he'll help me locate where he stays. He might know his address. Mama, sorry, nothing will happen to you with stroke. Hmm? I'll soon be back. Papa, let me go. It's okay. It's okay. Stay with Mama. Mm -hmm. Nothing is going to happen to you. Come on, stop crying, okay? Okay, let me go. money wouldn't be the problem because I ran into a bonnemem last week. The young man is now uh, he's now very successful but I am surprised. Uh, why is it that you don't have his address? Oh. 
now this is the address. Mm. Uh, just keep in touch with me, okay? Thank you, Uncle. Um, he stays here. Yeah, that's his address. You can go. Just keep in touch with me, okay? <clears throat> What is a hundred and twenty thousand naira compared to the fun you give me? Hmm? <laughs> um, so, when is your wife and son coming back? Two weeks' time. You still have enough time to eat in Tanta? Uh, Mr. Obunname's resident. Yes. What do you want? I'm his uh, younger brother. I need to see him urgently. Our mother is seriously sick. Mm. I wait. So you have to wait. Uh, please, my brother. No, I can't wait. Like I said before, I need to see him. It's very important. Please. Look, our mother in the village is seriously sick. She's ill and, and, and we need his attention. Please. I, I, I just got this address from my uncle. Okay. You can walk here to the house. Just that door there. Just oh. open up. I saw Chief Tokas. He gave me your address. Mother has been lying critically ill at the village hospital. We need 20,000 naira to transfer her to a better hospital. For how long now? Since yesterday. You see, um, you, ha you have to go back to the village. I see what I can do. How much is your transport? One thousand five Go back to the village. I'll see what I can do. But I've not eaten since yesterday.
You can eat at the park. Go back. So, what about the money for the hospital? I said, go back to the village. I'll see what I can do. Don't I know the village again? says he's my brother. Don't you see beggars straying in and, in and out of this place? Ask him for Saraka. Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Abuneme. Abuneme Okafo. So this is the kind of lifestyle you live here. You left your old parents suffering perpetually there in the village. Jesus Christ. Abuneme, what have we done to you to deserve all this? Why did you abandon everybody? Abuna, what did we do to you? Why did you have to abandon your parent, your brother and sister? All alone. Look at you living large. Look at the kind of money you have. Bros, please, who is this thing? Abuna, man. You are a disgrace. You are a disappointment. Did you say? What you heard? Abuname, you are a d 
disgrace. Oh! How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you? Get out of here. Young man, you heard him. Get out. Quiet. Deal with him. On your news. Hey, stay out of this. Come on, go on your knees. Are you mad? I'm talking to you. You're looking at me like that. And so. I'm in. I'm in the house. Send two policemen to me. Armed. Immediately, immediately. Armed. Hey, ladies, relax, relax. Everything is going to be fine. Immediately. Relax. You have no respect. I didn't make my money through your efforts or the efforts of any member of your family. Was me and me alone. I will teach you the lesson of your life. Yes, you are rich. You are a rich man, Obunneme. But yet, your mother died in poverty. She died because we could not afford. 20,000 Naira that would have given her a better life. That would have given her an opportunity to live again. You killed your mother. You are an idiot. A total idiot. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's okay. Nikon. Officer has agreed. So you went to Rob Oga's house, eh? You went to Rob Oga's house? Thief! I'm not a thief. Officer, he's my brother. I, I only went there to tell him about our sick mother. They lost the truth. Who sent you? Officer. Who sent you? Officer, nobody sent me. Officer, I'm not a thief. Who are you? Officer, he's my elder brother. Elder brother indeed. I've done what must have done before. You don't want to say the truth? Today, we are going to change your mind from stealing. Officer, I'm telling you the truth now. Believe me. Listen, confess. I didn't say you ask him, he's my inner brother, please, sir. So you don't want to say the truth, eh? You don't want to say the truth, eh? You don't want to say the truth. I'm telling the truth. Thief. Oh, but name I am very, very disappointed in you. Why are you so callous of Bodnemi? I never knew what had been happening all this while. You won't understand. You just won't understand. Won't understand what, Bodnemi? That you abandoned your family? A family that gave birth to you and trained you? By the way, why did you lock up your, your younger brother in the police cell? I think you better go and examine your brain. There's something wrong with you. Am I the cause of the poverty? What? Now listen, I still hold it against my mother and my father. They have no reason to bring me into this world if they don't have the adequate resources to take care of me. I came to this city as a boy. I have walked my way to the... Will you shut up your mouth? Shut up your mouth, Trump name. So you want to disown your family? Why won't I? Can you believe that because of a mere bottle of oil I broke as a little boy, my mother almost... If, let me, if I show you my body, you know what I'm talking about. 
So you have been harboring this ugly grudges against your father. That okay, was man. child abuse. So what about your family? What about your entire family? What did they do to you? Everybody should go and work for his own. Ah! I won't name him. Go and release your younger brother. Go and release Mwaura. It is abominable! Go and release him! Over my dead body. Listening to rumor mongers. Okay. Dear, please, for the thousandth time, what about your family? Don't go there. Let's talk about it for one I once. said, don't go there. Ebube is growing up and he needs to know his roots. I mean, for how long are you going to keep holding a grudge that holds no water against your family? I can see you don't want to sleep. Every time we talk about your father, you flare up. Because you are beaten from breaking a bottle of oil, suddenly you come back to your senses. <sighs> Nonsense has got to stop. I must go to the city and confront Obumneme. Ah, Papa, please don't go now. Look, I must go. The okra plant can never outgrow the person who planted it. Take care of the house. I will come back soon. But, 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 I must go. <laughs> I would not have believed any prophecy that you open them would transform into an animal. How could you allow wealth to corrupt you? Huh? I demand you go now and release water from police detention. You don't order me around. Here, I live the way I like. I came to this city, made money through my own efforts, and not through any of your efforts. You are like the proverbial young man who said he got a male child before his father. Now go and release water from police detention. No. He came here, had the guts to abuse me, insult my person. I am Obuneme, the only lion that roars in the city. There are a lot of other lions, not roars. It's me. Now leave my house. What? Leave my house. Hey. Abomination. Obuneme, you are asking me to leave your house. Did I mean words? Leave my house. Oh. Ah. Uh. I'm respecting you. Please, leave my house. You've forgotten that I was a soldier. Now, let me, let, now, let me teach you children that men will be men. I must, you, you are busy me again, Lord. Did 
Bir şey yavaş ver. Didn't I tell you to go and play your ball outside? <laughs> Why blocking my pass now? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Okay, thank you. so callous and ignorant. God, I have sinned against my family and you. Without the grace of God, I wouldn't have made it in life. There wouldn't be me without my family. Still remember the story of the prodigal son in the Bible. Though he offended the, the father, yet the father with a wide embrace welcomed and forgave him. Jesus used that story to teach us to forgive. You are forgiven. Thank you very much. I was ignorant. Thank you. I am very glad that you have released uh, your brother from the police cell. I'm very, very happy. Today is Monday. I'll be traveling to the village this weekend. I'm going to plead on your behalf. And then I will arrange uh, for a reconciliation there between you and your family. I'm willing to make amends. Nothing so great that uh, could not be forgiven. The important thing is that you realize your mistakes and uh, have decided to make amends. It's your father who will forgive you. God. I've 
been such a fool. Well, the voice of your father. Where's the father? I know that one, that's your mother's grave. But what about this beside? Who's that? That is Papa's grave. What? I'm not dead, but you buried me alive. The grave beside your mothers is a symbolic way of telling the world that you, Obundeme, buried me while I was still alive. Papa, I have sinned against heaven and you. Like the prodigal son, I come back to you to ask for your forgiveness. You have been foolish like a bad boy. What about your mother? Can you bring her back to life? I will make amends. Get up. Get up. To err is human, but to forgive is divine. Forgive me. I 
beg for your forgiveness because if you don't forgive me, I will have no other choice than to seek reconciliation with Mama. Wara! Wara! Ah, no. Ah, uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Get up. 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 Na batamo, tiko baramo. Sorry. 